I'll show you how to select all the rows in a Trivi widget, including subrows. Join me as we continue to explore the Trivi widget in TK Intern. Hi, my name is Jobin, and I'm an open source developer. My channel is called Jobin Pi, and it's all about Python and Linux. Welcome. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to select all items in a tree view widget. So here's an example. I have some rows in a tree view widget. And when I click on the button that says select all, it selects all the rows in the tree view widget, including the sub rows. I'll show you how to do this. I, I already have some code here to populate the tree view. I'm not going to go over this part of the code too much. But basically what I'm doing here is I'm loading a couple of images, a picture of a slice of pizza, um, a picture of some juice, and then loading them into these two variables. And then down below, I have a tree view widget, a button that says select all. Then I have a button here that says get selection, and it gets the unique identifiers of the rows that are selected. It just prints it to the console down here. And here I'm just inserting the, the rows. So there's nothing out of the ordinary in this section here. It's about things that we've covered in previous videos before, like inserting rows with images and things like that. Uh, so the section that we're going to focus on here now is just selecting all the items in a tree view widget. Okay, so right now we have a button here that says select all and the command that should run or the function that should, that should run is called on select all clicked. So we should create that. So going to the top, I'm just going to write on select all clicked. Then I'm going to write for item in trivi underscore food, which is the name of our trivi widget, trivi underscore food dot get underscore children. And I'm going to print the item. Oh, we also need a colon here. Okay, so let's just run this and see what we get. So right now, if I click on select all, it's not going to select any rows. It's just going to print some item IDs and let's see what it gives us. So it's giving us I001 and I004. So where is two and three? Uh, so two and three, I'm just going to expand these rows here. So here, this is I001, this is I002, I003, and I004, and then this is five and six. So right now it's only giving us the item ID for I001 and I004. And the reason why it's not giving us the other ones is because these are two root items. Uh, these two items, these two rows don't have any parents. They're, they're in the root. If you run get children without specifying any arguments like we are here now, um, it's just going to give us the items in the root section of the tree view widget, which in this case is only these two items. Okay, so we need another function called select children. And here I'm going to write select the current item. And we're going to take in an item here. Then I'm going to write tree view underscore food dot selection underscore add. And we're going to add that item to the selection. So this method takes in an item and it selects the item that you give it. And that's what we're doing here is we're taking the item and then selecting it. So here, I'm not going to print it to the console. Now I'm just going to write select underscore children. And then, so I want to select the item that we're iterating over. Okay, so I'm just going to run this and see what happens. Okay, so if I click on select all, we get those two rows selected. And if I expand it and click that button again, we only get those two rows selected. Um, so it's skipping over 
the sub items. And again, that's because we're running get children without specifying anything here. We're not specifying any arguments or parameters. So to select the sub items, we have to go to this function here, select children, and then I'm going to write item children equal tree view underscore food dot get children and then item. So here I'm getting the children of this item. Then I'm going to write if item children. So if there is a value, then we're going to loop over it. So for item inner in item children. And the reason why I'm using item underscore inner is because I'm already using the variable item here. Uh, so in this loop, I'm just going to use item underscore inner. And then here I'm going to write select underscore children and then item again. Okay, so in this function, we're actually calling the same function. We're, we're calling itself, which you can do. So it is, it is allowed in Python. Uh, so here I'm calling the function that we're in on the item that we're looping on. Oh, actually, I have to change this to item underscore inner. Yeah, so now we're selecting the children of the item that we're looping on. And when we run this, it's going to go through this whole code again. So if there is a, a sub item and if the sub item has another sub item, and if it keeps going down the hierarchy, it's still going to select all the items because it's, it's running this function over and over again until it's fully looped over and until there's no more items left. So this will ensure that all the items get selected regardless of how deep it needs to check in the loop. Okay, so let's just run this again and make sure it works. Then I'm going to expand those rows and click on select all. Yep, that works fine. Now we have everything selected. And I'm going to show you something. I'm going to close the window and I'm going to reopen it. I'm not going to expand those two rows. I'm just going to click on select all. Then watch what happens. So those two rows are selected. But the question is, are the other rows selected? Like the, the sub items? Well, you can't really tell just by looking at it. So I made another button here called set, um, called get selection. And when you click on that, it'll get the item IDs that are currently selected in this tree view widget. So let's check to see if the sub items are selected or not. Because remember the root items, the item IDs are I001 for pizza and I004 for juice. So get selection. Yep, we have all of them selected. So we have all the items selected in the tree view widget. And we know we, and we know that for sure because the tree view widget is telling us that they're all selected. And that button is getting its code from here. So select the items equal tree view underscore food dot selection. And then we're just printing the selected items. But what if we wanted to expand the items and select them at the same time? So when we click on select all, we want to expand those two rows so we can show to the user that all the sub items have actually been selected. So to do that, we need to add the following line of code. Make sure the item is expanded so the user can see it. I'm just going to put a comment there so we know what it does. Then tree view underscore food dot item. And then we pass in the item. And then we say open equal true. And let's just try that again and make sure it expands. I'm going to click on select all. Yep, it worked. So it expanded the items first and then it highlighted all the rows. And that way the user can see that all the items have been selected in the tree view widget. We saw how to select all the items in a tree view widget. If you found this to be useful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already done so. Until the next tutorial, thanks for watching.